Today, I'm gonna survive 100 days in the Grinder SMP. In this video, we are going to do a bunch of really fun things, like finally getting a perfect raid, doing some nether exploration, as well as checking out our new spider farm. At the end of the video, we will make it to 100 days, so be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy how I and my friends survived 100 days on the Grinder SMP. To start off, I needed to expand the cow farm. The cow farm was getting a little bit crowded, so I had to fix it a little bit. But this wasn't a really big test, so I got it done in under 2 minutes. After that, however, Noob with Red really wanted to start a raid, so we went to the pillager outpost, got the bad omen effect, and started the raid. <laughs> After the very successful raid where I didn't die once actually, I helped Mega and Ion go on a very adventurous nether exploration in order to find the coveted nether fortress. Here are some highlights of our very fun adventure.
Sure, we didn't find the fortress, but we did have a lot of fun exploring the nether. So I think we all had the last laugh. But the next day, Mega and Ion told me that they were building a spider XP farm, which would be crucial for us to get enchants really quick. Because since the start of the series, the only way to get XP was breathing and killing raids. So it wasn't really that effective. With this new spider farm, however, it's going to be three times more effective, and we might get enchants before day 100. The next few days were honestly just chores upon chores upon chores. It's usually just trading with villagers, breaking sugarcane, making paper, sorting through stuff, smelting, making food. However, I did do something you will never expect at all. It's called mining. Nobody ever expects some someone to go a hundred days and never mine once. My one goal of this entire mining trip was to get some diamonds, and fortunately, I found some right beneath this gravel. I also found some lapis, and using it, I used the lapis method to find more diamonds, which resulted me in getting a load of lava, however, a load of diamonds. This allowed me to get, finally, full diamond armor in day 88, which is like very late in the grand scheme of things, but it's really an accomplishment anyway. So don't hate on me in the comments. I also found this amethyst geode and I almost fell in lava and died. However, a uh, water buff saved me. I was having way too much fun in this amethyst geode, I just broke every single crystal I saw. And I was amazed by how magical these, these crystals sound. Emerging out of the mines on day 89 with full diamond armor, Mega and Ayan told me to check on their working skeleton farm. And by working, I mean scuffed skeleton farm because you need two players for them. Sure it works, but like, I guess they tried. And for the next hour or so, me and my friends AFK did some chores on the Minecraft server until the fated day 100. And that, my friends, is 100 days on a Minecraft SMP. Thank you for watching.